enjoy your flight. Hello everyone, I am heading to the airport. I am going to Austin tonight and then Palm Springs tomorrow, so that's exciting. So basically I am on reserve. Um, when you start a new airline, you're always on reserve uh, right off the bat. But however, with my airline, it is very flexible that you're able to drop your reserve as in like if someone picks it up. Um, so I dropped everything for the month of March, except for one reserve block. It's still an open time. No one's um, inquired about it yet, which it's over St. Patrick's Day weekend. So I'm not surprised about that. So I dropped everything except for that reserve block and I just picked up out of Orlando. So I'm flying like a straight line this month, which is super nice and I got to pick and choose what I wanted which is also amazing so I'm flying like 97 hours this month and it doesn't even feel like it that's one thing I really 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 like about my airline is that it's so flexible and you can create your own schedule basically if you wanted to um, which I did for the month of March just because I didn't want to commute um, to Baltimore because next month April I'm gonna be starting a new journey as an Orlando based flight attendant I'm super excited um, I can't believe it only took me two months to get here um, I live in Orlando and now I'm gonna be based in Orlando I have commuted out of Orlando for almost five years now and um, to not commute anymore is going to just be a huge stress reliever um, I used to live in Minneapolis when I was working with my previous carrier and then I moved down here five years ago almost it's been four and a half now and um, commuting was fine in the beginning but then COVID hit and then it started getting really rough and then blah 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 lots of factors and everything like that and trips just weren't like commutable at all um, at my previous airline and so yeah so now I'm really excited that I'm going to be an Orlando based flight attendant so yeah, like I said, I am um, heading to the airport. We do two legs today. Um, we go Orlando, DC, and then to Austin. Lay over in Austin tonight, um, I think like 18 hours. And then tomorrow is kind of a longer day, and then we end up in Palm Springs. And then Monday is an even longer day, but it's all good. And then I'm only off uh, Tuesday, and then I leave Wednesday evening. There's either a 9 o'clock flight to Baltimore or a 10.55 flight p.m. to Baltimore. So I don't know um, which flight I'm going to take, but it's going to be one of those night flights. And then um, sleep in the lounge, figure out if I'm going to get called for reserve or not, and figure out my plan of attack for next weekend. Unless if somebody picks up my reserve, then I'll pick up something out of Orlando. So I will see you guys at the airport and on my layovers. Whoa. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am drinking my Diet Coke. Um, happy daylight savings time. Huge eye roll. I hate this point of daylight savings time. Let me see if I can prop you guys up right here. Um, I hate this uh, daylight savings time, like, spring ahead. So inconvenient to my lifestyle. <laughs> um, so it's 11.30. Our van's at 12.45. I'm getting ready. Um... I'm going to shower and um, do my hair and makeup and then head downstairs for our van at 12.45 to do a long day today. Um, I think we go from Austin, we're currently in Austin, so we go from Austin to, let's see where do we go, hold on, I'll stand by, I'll tell you. Austin, Salt Lake, Salt Lake, Oklahoma, no, not Oklahoma, or wait, is that Oklahoma, no. It is Oklahoma. No, it's not. It's Oakland. And we're already delayed two minutes. Okay. We go Austin, Salt Lake, Salt Lake, um, Oak, Lind, and then Oakland to Palm Springs. And then we lay over in Palm Springs tonight. Um, yeah. And we're already late tomorrow. 20 minutes. How are we already late tomorrow? 20 minutes. I'm so confused by that. Um, anyway. Uh, yesterday was kind of a weird day. I don't know, like the first flight was really great and then the second flight, it was great, but there was just like a cluster of things that were going on. We were late and um, there was a passenger that was upset. So we had to like, kind of like 
deal with that situation. Um, and then we got to the hotel and we went downstairs, had a couple drinks, and then I went to bed. That was literally my evening. So, um, yeah, I'm just drinking my Diet Coke. I'm gonna get ready and um, I'll see you guys before I go to work and I'll show you the hotel because where we're staying, we have like this courtyard um, like outside my window and it's super cute and I wanted to like get on the camera. So I'll see you guys um, when I do that. So I have my lunchbox. Um, she's right here. I was gonna show you the contents of it. Um, we have some Muscle Mac, uh, macaroni and cheese and um, some applesauce. And then I have some Hershey's dipped chocolate pretzels. And then the hotel gave us these cookies. Um, that is an empty container that had a salad in it. And then this is the refrigerator. I have a Diet Coke in here. Um, so I have these two meals. It's Mongolian beef, like from the frozen section, um, the P.F. Chang's. So I have that, and then I have two things of yogurt. Sorry, my tank top is here. Don't mind me. Um, and then I have two ginger shots. They were BOGO at Publix, so definitely gonna try those on the plane today. And then I have two protein shakes. And then I have my pizza from last night. And then all the way in the back, here's a fun little trick. You put your freezer pack back against the thing and it will freeze because that's like frozen back there and it will refreeze it. So it's pretty, pretty frozen. It will keep me going for the day. So we're going to put everything, I'm going to eat, eat this, eat this tonight. Um, I was going to eat my one serving last night for dinner, but the one flight attendant insisted we come downstairs for drinks and dinner and then I got a pizza and then he ended up paying for our entire tab which was extremely nice of him so I'm gonna have some yogurt on the plane and then two little shots do that and then I'll put my pizza and I'm gonna put my um, lunch thing my thing over here I'll organize that. But this is really good because you can put ice in here. So like on the plane, I put ice and then I shove it in my bag. So it's like double cool thing. And then on top, we have, oh, what time is it? Okay, I have time. Um, still getting over my sinus infection, yay. I have protein powder, car keys, protein bar, oatmeal, fan tips, some crackers, just in case, you never know. Um, and that's it in there. And then down here is some Aqua 4, some drink stuff, um, pill like vitamins, and then forks, hand sanitizer, extra things. I always carry these Zycan like cold things so you stick up your nose. Hair ties, and my lipstick for sake because I'm doing a bold lip look and pens. I have pens like everywhere in my bag. So that is that. And then the courtyard area, guys. Let me show you. So it's super cool. Okay, so I didn't show you all of it because really awkward somebody was standing there and they saw me and I was like <laughs> okay um anyway so I have to go because my van is literally in like uh 10 minutes so I will see you guys later after we get to Palm Springs about to leave already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away good morning from beautiful Palm Springs uh, I'm gonna sit outside and have my lovely ice cold DC and a little granola protein bar. And we're gonna sit outside on my balcony because she's beautiful here in Palm Springs. I also forgot to take my makeup off last night, so that's also why we're wearing sunglasses inside right now because I just, I totally forgot to do that. Sometimes that happens when I'm extremely tired. But we're gonna look outside. She's a beauty and she is grace. It's a little windy out here. The palm trees be swaying. It's a 
really bright out here. Um, also for breakfast, I'm going to have a banana cream and Greek triple zero protein yogurt. So it's currently 8 o'clock. Our van's at 10. I've been up. No, oh, actually it's 8.30. Shit. Um, I've been up for a while, but I need to start getting ready like around 9-ish and head downstairs to the van. Today's a long day. We go from Palm Springs to Vegas, Vegas to Columbus, and then Orlando, and then we're done. And then I'm only off like a day and a half. I'm off all day tomorrow. Technically I'm off Wednesday and then I um, start reserve in Baltimore on Thursday, but I have to fly up to Baltimore on Wednesday evening. There's like a 9, 10 o'clock flight that I think I'll take. So, it's a beautiful day here. I wish we could stay like longer. I wish we were doing like, like leaving later, like just skip the whole Columbus part. I wish we were going to like mini, uh, Minneapolis, whoa, <laughs> flashbacks. I wish we were going to like Palm Springs to Vegas and then Orlando, but it's all good. It's just, it's really nice here. The sun feels good. This doesn't even look real. I wish I had a view over here. This is cool. The pool and the mountains. 